Drones have taken off in a big way in the UK, but they bring new dangers. This bizarre scene was Tokyo yesterday. A drone carrying a bottle of radioactive material landed on the roof of the Japanese Prime Minister's office. But back here, the police are well aware of what they can do, as we can reveal. For the past 18 months, counter-terrorism officers have been studying drones. They identified at least 20 so-called high threat scenarios where drones could be used, for example, against the police or the public. But they also see this technology as a huge opportunity. And that's why they'll be using them more and more in parts of London, the home counties and beyond. This is the Canadian built drone the police will use. It can fly for around 50 minutes, up to 40 miles an hour. They've been trialled at Gatwick Airport over the past year and will be rolled out to police teams guarding Heathrow, Stansted, City and Luton, as well as selected airports in other parts of the UK. It's understood they'll be used for live streaming surveillance, not to take out other drones or suspects. But counter-terrorism officers hope, in time, they can be used in major incidents involving sieges and firearms. Some privacy campaigners are worried. The police and the rest of the public sector need to be very transparent about how they're using them, the benefits, but also the potential privacy impacts that they might have. Open that dialogue so before we see the skies littered with these drones everywhere, that we have a better understanding of how they're being used and who they're being used by. Police chiefs say they're still developing national guidance on the use of drones. The Met refuses to confirm or deny whether it deploys them. But this professional drone pilot thinks the rollout to airports is unlikely to extend into central London. I think the days of um, being concerned about being filmed are long gone with the, the amount of CCTV we have. Whether the camera is on a fixed position or on a mobile position, you're pretty much being filmed pretty much the whole time in London anyway. Um, due to the urban situation of London, I can't really see drones and unmanned aerial vehicles being used in the city to any great extent purely because of the existing air traffic there already. We can also reveal the police will take over investigations into the alleged misuse of drones. Until now, the Civil Aviation Authority has done that. It's a sign of the new and growing threat drones pose. But it's clear police believe this eye in the sky is also a vital tool for them in keeping us safe. Nick Beek, BBC London News.